everyone. Happy Halloween weekend. Today we're going to go through the holiday collections or what I'm calling the holiday collections and talk about what's actually worth picking up, what's the best packaging, what makes the best gifts. This is basically a would I buy it again, would I buy it as a gift, kind of a let's follow up on my initial thoughts. So I've got all the holiday collections that I picked up over the last been about a month and we'll go through each one of them and I'll talk about the pros and cons of each. All right everybody so this will be the second to last video for October. The last video will actually be on Halloween and I hope to have a video up that will be my will I buy it video. I'm gonna expect that will I buy it video although every time I assume something it goes wrong so I probably shouldn't but I'm gonna say it anyway. I'm gonna think that there's not a ton in there because like all the holiday collections. There's a few things that I'm still, you know, looking to get. But the Sephora sale will also be going on during this time. And there are a couple of things that are at Sephora that I would suggest picking up. So I'll go through that when I go through these holiday collections. And I will mention one holiday item that I believe is at Sephora that I don't have, I will be buying. Um, so I can't say whether or not it's worth it because I just don't know. All right, so let's start. I'm gonna go through, like I said, every collection. Let's start with Clé de Peau. Clé de Peau came out with their holiday collection, which is really, the packaging on this, I would say is the number one packaging, although there's, there's a really close tie this year, but the packaging is stunning. I am so impressed with the, the time and effort that obviously goes into their decision-making around the holiday packaging. This is one of their luminizers. One shade, this shade was a new shade, and then the other luminizer um, had like purples in it. I never actually picked it up. I might still pick it up. Um, there's, you know, there'll be some sales, maybe it'll be on sale. But uh, it was actually a repromote, but I don't own it. It was a repromote of shade, I think 11, uh, but I don't own shade 11. There was the eyeshadow palette, which was not my favorite color story. And I felt like it wasn't as impactful as a lot of the new Clé de Peau shadows. However, I still think this created a very nice look. And if you're somebody who likes the lighter, uh, softer, everyday kind of look, I think this is actually a, a good color story for you. I do plan on putting the purple, or the purple, the blue one in this compact. And the only reason I haven't done it yet is because I knew I was going to do this review. And I was like, I have to wait. The packaging is my favorite. Like I said, there's a close tie. I'm, I'm gonna say this is number one, but it's, it's close. The products though, in this particular collection, aren't my favorite. The luminizer, although pretty, I have many of them. Again, if you don't own a luminizer, it's a great, it's a great thing to own. The eyeshadow, not my favorite color story. The lipsticks, and I, you know, I have these videos up in detail about each one. The lipsticks are very like pink, and they're just not my they're just not my colors. The formula is beautiful on both of them, the matte and the and satin, so it's not that. And like I said, the packaging is stunning. But the color stories and the formulas in those products are not my favorite of the collection. And I have to say, actually, they might be my least favorite products of the collections that I have in front of me. It's not to say they're bad, they are good, but the holiday collections that I have in front of me right now, I have to say like, they're really good. And I'm impressed, truly impressed by practically everything that came out. There's at least one thing in each holiday collection that I have on my face right now, except for the Clé de Peau. I do not have the Clé de Peau eyeshadow, the luminizer or the lipsticks on my face because again, not really my color story. Um, and the luminizer, although pretty, there's a highlighter in here that I like more. So. If you're somebody who loves Clé de Peau, like I do, and you love those colors, that is a great collection to pick up, especially with the sales that are coming up. They are not available at Sephora, but you know, I've seen Saks have like 20% off sales, Neiman's, uh, Bloomingdale's has had like, I forget what it was, but it's like $25 off, you know, 200, like those types of things are gonna be going on all throughout November. So I think you could probably find them on sale. That's just me. But 
I think they're absolutely worth it as a gift. They're really beautiful. You just have to make sure it's the right color story for the person. But the packaging alone, I would be like, well, <laughs> I would be happy. Um, all right, so next, let's talk about Chanel. So Chanel had a couple of things. They had their eyeshadow palette, the Lumiere Graphique, which I've talked about, uh, and I did an entire video on this whole collection, and I have it on my eyes today. This is one of my favorite palettes from Chanel in a very long time. The formula in here is, in my mind, I, I really couldn't improve upon the formula in here. Like the formula for me, I have dry skin, more mature eyes, you could not get better. I, I absolutely love the formula. It's smooth, it doesn't accentuate texture, it goes on perfectly, it blends, perfect. However, it is not a unique color story. As I've, I've talked about, it's very similar to the Dior, which is similar to the Tom Ford, which is similar than the East St. Laurent. They're all similar. So these are bronzy, platinums, blacks, whites, but I personally love that color story, use it all the time, and I'm so impressed by the formula that I absolutely love that product. And that is what I have on my eyes today. I have two of the shades, now three of the shades on my eye, um, and then actually four shades because the black is the liner. I just love this look. I love the, I love, I love the formula. I think it's fantastic. I think that's a great gift to give someone because honestly, I don't know anyone who couldn't use those colors. Like everyone can use those colors in some way. It, it's, you know, one of those things. So it's a great gift in my opinion. The Rouge Allure uh, lack, the, um, the, the, uh, the lip, my brain, the lip, the lip things. Um, these are the like liquid lip product. And I actually like these more than I originally did. They're a shine liquid lip color. The golden beige is kind of just golden. It's like a light kind of just goldy shade. <laughs> Again, I'll have the videos on all the in-depth, they're, they're on here. The Fancy Prune is quite deep. Again, though, I like it for a particular look. It would probably be great with this as a Halloween look because it's a deep, it's a deep plum. Uh, but my favorite thing to do is to take the Rouge Allure Lustre, which I bought in uh, Roaring Purple 867, and this is what I did in the video, and it's a deep purple, but you put this on and then you put the golden beige on over it. Love that look. Love, love it, love it, love it. And it really, I mean, it just looks stunning. And so I've worn that a couple of times and I've been so impressed. Like, I, I love the look, I love the color and everybody else has been like, wow, it looks really nice. So, <laughs> I mean, so right there, I'm happy. The highlighters. There's the Illuminating Powder, uh, powder Duo, which, you know, it's very pretty like the way that they, they did it with the sequins. This is the Roaring Twenties collection. I really think it, it's nice, um, but it's not my favorite highlighter from Chanel. And it's the white sparkly at the bottom and then the, the top is like kind of a peach. Um, it's not my favorite color on me. I think it's pretty. I do, I think it's very pretty and I think it's collectible, but I wasn't just like, oh wow, that's like, it's not like the Camellia or the um, Fantasia uh, blush that came out before. It's not, it's not at that level. The oversized highlighter, I only bought one um, and I have been going back and forth on whether I wanna get the coral shade. This is the pearly white shade and it's very, very shimmery. So it's like almost glittery shimmery. And to be very honest, I don't see me using this a lot. I really don't. I think I'll use it sometimes, but not a lot. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit, put it in the inner corner of my eye so you guys can see what that looks like. Cause it's, like I said, it's a highlighter, but it's, I mean, it's shimmery. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. And you know, for that look or on the eye, I could see it, but on my face, unless it's some kind of, I don't know, New Year's Eve thing where I need to look really sparkly or something. I just don't see me using that. And because it's oversized, there's a lot of it. Uh, so it's not my favorite. 
I have heard that the peach shade is, or the coral shade, I should say, is not, um, is not sparkly and it's very pretty. I haven't picked it up because I've recently bought a number of highlighting products that I really like and I kind of feel like I don't need another one. Um, so I haven't, that's really where we're at. But the collection I absolutely love, I have to, I have to tell you. The packaging, it's not particularly special. Like it's, it's got the gold CCs on it instead of the, you know, the white CCs, but it's Chanel. The only collection that was a little bit different were the uh, Byzance palettes, the, the eyeshadows. Those I love. And if you can find those somewhere, that makes a great gift. Um, I know the color stories are a little bit more, a little more avant-garde, um, but honestly, I love those. And I love the fact that there's the, the gold on the inside. I mean, yes, it's not, it's not like the clear de Poe packaging, but for Chanel, it's a departure for them to do something like that. And I think all the color stories look really pretty. I have a video for each um, quad. So for me, if I were to buy these as a gift, I would say the Lumiere Graphique is a great gift. Um, it's pretty safe in the color story, but the Byzance ones are like more over the top and more unique. Um, but again, it's a little less safe because the colors are a little different. So if you know that somebody wants it, then, you know, great. But uh, that's my my overall take. But I do think Chanel did a great job with their, their holiday collection. I, I do really like it. There's also the Rouge 31 lipsticks, um, which I do have. These are the glass lipsticks. That makes a pretty much amazing gift because these are incredibly expensive and these cases are refillable and they're glass. I mean, they're glass cases. Um, the only thing I would say is that the colors are, uh, there's not very many shades and the shades are deeper and red. The only really light shade is, is shade one, which is the one I have. I have three of them. Um, but I have been reaching for that shade. So if you know somebody that like wears a lot of red lipstick, uh, and you want to spend quite a bit of money, you can get the coffre, all three of them, uh, in the box. Um, but if you want to just get one and you know they like a very light lip, uh, you know, the, the shade one would work. And again, it comes with this, it's this beautiful case, it's refillable, um, there's a leather pouch that it comes in, and again, it's like $200 for a lipstick, so it's very, very expensive. Uh, but if that's, if that's what you're looking for for someone, or for yourself, it, the lipstick is beautiful. Like, the formula is great, it's not that, it's just, attached to a very high price point. Technically that's not holiday, but you know, this time of year, anything that comes out this time of year, is, I think is fair game for holiday. Okay, next we're gonna do Dior. All right, so Dior came out with two blushes, two eyeshadow palettes, nail polishes, luminizers, backstage palettes. There's a whole bunch to Dior. Dior does this, like they, they come out with like, you know, 97 products. I didn't buy everything, but I did buy quite a few things. So two things to say. The blush that I have on today is the Dior. This is the Dior um, Precious Rose, one of my favorite blushes ever. Seriously. But, here's a caveat, this is not gonna work on everybody. It's very light, very, very light. It's a very light pink, but it has a little bit of peach to it. It's the perfect, in my opinion, like for me, perfect shade for me, perfect, love it but it's not gonna be up for everyone. Uh, the shade, the other shade, uh, Splendid Rose, which I have in the video uh, when, I, when I went over the whole collection, that's gonna be great for, for people with deeper skin tones. I would not suggest the Precious, it's just too light. The eyeshadows, um, both gorgeous actually. They're silver and golds. Um, you have Nightwalk, which is silver, mostly silver and blacks and whites with gold, a small piece of gold in the middle. And then you have the um, Promenade Doré, which is all gold with a little bit of silver. I like the Nightwalk more. I just like that color story more. I have videos on each one, so you can check it out. Um, and the formulas that in the shadows are good. They're not as good as they used to be. That's just me, my, my take. Uh, but you know, I do, I do like these. The color stories are really nice. Silver and gold, perfect for the holidays. Makes a great gift. It's very safe. The backstage palette in that silver lavender one, the purple one, that is a beautiful formula. I did a video with that one as well. Gorgeous color story. If you know somebody who likes purples and grays, buy that because that's really, really good. The luminizers, the number of luminizers that came out, um, there's holo, uh, silver, and then I forget all the shades, but there's um, three shades and it's part of the collection. 
Uh, one is like Nude Bliss, the other is Holo Silver, and then the other one is the, the Copper Shade. They are all fantastic, fantastic maximizers. I love the maximizer products. Some of them are available at uh, Sephora. The Holo Silver, at least the last time I looked, was there. Uh, Pure Copper is there. Same. I, I thought I saw them there. I, I, I'm not absolutely positive of that, but they might not be there when the sale starts, is what I'm saying. But I, they were there before. Same with like the Dior blushes and the eyeshadows. So take a look and see if they're available. The nail polishes. I love the nail polishes. My favorite one, um, I think it's Tuxedo. Let me double check the name. That's actually, this one is Mirror. Tuxedo is the Chanel. Um, Mirror, which I really like. Uh, and I think it's really pretty. And the case. The case is stunning. Now, this also came in a case for a compact for um, foundation, but we didn't get it here in the United States. So um, I love the, the pattern. If I could find it, the compact, I would definitely pick it up. Um, there's also a bunch of gifts from Dior. There's like a, a, like a purse, like a gold purse. There's a Dior prestige gifts. And I'm gonna talk about that in my gift buying guide. But I will say, I think Dior did a fantastic job with the packaging and like the, the decorations and the Dior. I love that. But overall, I don't like it as much as the Chanel. Uh, and I did, forgot to, I did forget to mention the nail polishes with Chanel, which I also thought were all fantastic. But um, they were repetitive, the eyeshadows for Dior, it, it, just in my opinion. My favorite eyeshadow is the backstage purple gray one, which I wasn't even gonna pick up. So again, they, they do make great gifts, especially like if you know they use attic lipsticks, just get them the case. The case is beautiful. It's a very expensive gift for a case. Um, but if you know they use attic lipsticks, great gift. Okay, next, Tom Ford. So technically the Tom Ford Soleil collection is the holiday collection. There's also the Rose collection, which Cafe Rose was reintroduced as a perfume. There is the lip oil, which I think is a fantastic gift because it's lip oil. Who's, I mean, that, that should work on everybody. The Rose Tees eyeshadow quad is all mattes. I actually love the look that I created with it. I think it's very pretty, but again, that that's a sale. It's a sale item in my, my opinion. However, the Soleil collection, the Lumiere de Ver and the highlighter that I have on at the moment, which is Rose Iris. These are available at Sephora. These are absolutely worth picking up during the Sephora sale, if you can get them. I don't know if they'll sell out, but both are beautiful. The de Ver is beautiful on the eyes. I love this highlighter is why I was talking about. I didn't, I didn't pick the Clay de Poe one to put on my face, pick this one. It's one of my favorite Tom Ford Soleil's collections, like, ever. So, absolutely worth picking up. Absolutely. And I would make great gifts. And again, at the Sephora sale, so uh, you can get them 20, 15, or, or 10% off, depending on, you know, your, your, your level. Uh, Guerlain. So, Guerlain had the um, eyeshadow and lipsticks. These are the cases. The cases are worth picking up. They absolutely are. I haven't seen them anywhere except for, for Guerlain at the moment, the cases. I've seen other products, but I don't think I've seen the cases. Uh, double check me on that one, but I, I'm pretty sure the cases were still only at Guerlain. But I started to see the um, eyeshadow at other places and the meteorites. Absolutely worth it. The meteorites are a lot of fun. They are a little, they're Claire too, which is um, an existing shade for Guerlain. But it does look a little different than the than the Claire two that I have seen, like the the original one. I don't know if they changed the color or I'm not sure, but it is, it did work on me. And again, I did a video, I put it on my face so you guys could see it. Um, so I, I do think I, I think I think it'll work on anyone. It's not it doesn't really leave a cast. So even I think if you are a deeper skin tone, I think it would be fine because again, it's just sort of a highlight for your face. The only thing I would say about the meteorites, the packaging is stunning, but if you don't like violet, if you don't like the smell of violet, do not buy them because it's extremely strong. I love that scent, but if you don't like it, I'm telling you, you will hate it because it permeates everything, just absolutely everything. Um, okay, so I'm gonna talk about two 
uh, collections that aren't technically holiday. And then we're gonna finish with what my biggest surprise was. So uh, the Dolce & Gabbana, this is Devotion. This is the mascara. I'm wearing the mascara today. It's an excellent mascara. It's a lengthening and volumizing mascara. It does sort of clump your lashes together a little bit, like a lot of uh, volumizing mascaras. So if you like something that like it separates every single lash and is more lengthening, I would not go with this one. Um, I do like the other Dolce & Gabbana mascara better than this one, but I, I think this one's really good. And then the Devotion highlighter that they have, um, I've talked about it on Instagram a bunch of times when it's come back in stock. It is available at Harrods. It is available uh, at now Dolce & Gabbana in the United States. I've also heard that there are Dolce & Gabbana stores, like there's one in Tyson's that actually has it in store. Tyson's is in Virginia, which is right outside of DC where I used to live. So um, you can actually, it looks like they're starting to put them in stores in the United States, which is fantastic news. Uh, I really like the Dolce & Gabbana products, beauty products. I think they're excellent. The mascara and the devotion highlighter are, are no uh, exception to that rule. Absolutely worth getting make great gifts. The highlighter would work on most people. It's like a peachy shade. Again, I have videos on it, so you can check it out. Uh, Hermes, which again, is not really holiday, um, but I do want to mention it because it would be remiss of me not to, because I think these would make great gifts. There are the shiny lipsticks, um, and I did, again, did a whole video on the shiny lipsticks that did not come out at the same time as the new eyeshadows, but this time of year, again, it's, it's free game. Um, the eyeshadows are not my favorite eyeshadows ever, but it's really close. These are great. Um, I, I'm gonna buy the rest of them. Uh, there's four others that I that I don't currently own. They make beautiful eye looks. I did a video, uh, talked about it. There's a tiny little brush, uh, which does work really well, by the way, uh, as an inner corner highlight. Um, there's a little area for it to go in the bag. It is a little annoying that it's not in the compact, but I'm not gonna split hairs at this point because I really like it. The uh, downside of this is, of course, the price. The price on this is super, super hefty because it has Hermes on it. Um, so what I would say is if you can find them on sale, absolutely do that. There are a number of places that are carrying them now. And again, like I said, there's gonna be you know, 20% off coupons. You're gonna see different sales coming up, but it would make a great gift. Find a color story that, that works for somebody, you know, that they like, something simple. All of them have, I think, a an ability to be like work appropriate, day appropriate. Um, they're not avant-garde in their color stories. So I think they're a safe gift. And I honestly, most people are gonna to love to get just the, the orange box. So it's makes, you know, it's a great gift. Um, all right. So last but not least, I want to talk about Shantikai. Shantikai is a, is a company, is a brand that I have loved for a long time and I've used a lot of their products. I did some lives with their um, makeup artists uh, at the beginning of my channel. I, I really love the brand. But the last couple of collections have not been my favorite. They weren't bad. The formulas were all good. Um, Shantikai makes good products. But I was a little let down by like the packaging because again, these are all high price points. They do luxury makeup here, luxury beauty, luxury fashion. And you know, you're paying a lot, like the, the Armes are $108. Like you're paying a lot for that name. The, the formula has to be excellent, yes, but it has to be more than that. It has to be, it has to be great packaging. It has to be presented in a way that you can give it as a gift and be, you know, like happy, you know, excited that the person's gonna love it. Um, and so, you know, the last couple of times I've been kind of like, meh, okay. This Shantikai collection, I love the packaging. Now, there's been interesting packaging before with the pearls and there was the flex and there have been a lot of things I liked. But I have to tell you, for whatever reason, and I'm not exactly sure why, this is my favorite. It's my favorite. I love this packaging and I don't know exactly why, but I'm fascinated by it. Like I, part of it is the mirrored nature of it because it's so reflective and so gold, but the the gold foil, the, the, it's raised and you can feel the texture of it. I just, I got, like I said, I'm not exactly sure why I love it so much, but I did. Um, and I love all of it. Um, and I love the outside packaging. Anyway, 
I really like, I really, 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 really like this collection. Now, the only thing that, the, in my opinion, is the drawback is that the the lipstick, the lip crystal, by the way, which is a beautiful gift, because uh, it's crystal lipstick, um, is a repromote. It already exists. The gloss is also a repromote, which I didn't have for some reason, but if somebody, are, somebody might already have it. So that's a little disappointing. The highlighter I have heard did exist. There's like a gold highlighting powder that I, again, don't have, but it did exist. And then this one is very much like, when I did my video, I, I didn't actually compare it to the right thing, um, the other powder, but I did have the other powder in the video. It's the Eclat Dew. So it's actually very similar to the Eclat Dew in shade. The formula, it's similar, but the Eclat Dew has more, it's softer somehow. I actually really like this though, because for me, I have very dry skin and I like a powder that gives me like a glow. Do you see how that gives you a very subtle glow? It's subtle though. It's not over the top. The highlighting one, I really, really like for a over the top glow and actually have been using it more as a highlighter. Again, hence why I'm not as thrilled with the, I, I like the Clay but you know, I have all these other highlighting products that I like more. Um, and so I've been using that more of a highlighter and then I've used this as sort of a glow powder, which I love. My favorite powder is still the Dolce & Gabbana Solar Glow, but the Solar Glow is, is very different. The Solar Glow, I don't know how to explain that product and people have been asking me about it because I've talked about it forever. Um, it's, um, it's like no other powder I have. It doesn't look like anything. It's stunning. And it's the, the product I was talking about compared to the Clay de Peau. I love the Clay de Peau for the, the intricacy of the design and the paint and the story that's behind it. But the, the Chantecaille packaging, at least for me, I love what, I love looking at it. I just do. And like I said, I, I love all the products. They work really, really well for me. And all of the powders are excellent. I love the lip crystal and I love the gloss. But again, you might have those things before. You might have those things already if you are somebody who's bought Chantecaille in the past. Okay, so how about Yves Saint Laurent? Yves Saint Laurent has like the cracked gold um, packaging for the eyeshadow palette 910, which I already own. Uh, I think that's a great palette. I absolutely think it's worth picking up that palette in the holiday packaging. I of course did not because I bought it when it was in the regular packaging, but absolutely love the YSLs. And I think the, the YSLs, Yves Saint Laurent uh, eyeshadows would make great gifts, fantastic gifts. Um, the lipsticks and stuff that are part of that collection and the perfume, I'm not going to pick those up, but I do like the packaging. I think it's, I think it's kind of cool and it would make a, a cool gift if, if you know they like those shades for lipsticks. Lipsticks are always hard because it's so dependent on shade. Like eyeshadow, usually it's a palette. So even if, even if there's one shade or two shades that someone doesn't like in it, they can probably use the other shades if it's like kind of a, you know, a neutral palette or everyday kind of shades, grays, browns, that type of thing. Um, it's tougher with lipstick. That's why when I say the lip oil from Tom Ford is a great gift, uh, the maxim the uh, maximizers are great gifts because they have a little bit of pigment, but it's not you know over the top. So I think those are safer. I also want to mention Westman Atelier. So Westman Atelier is one of my favorite brands. It's it's a it's a brand similar to like Jones Road. It's meant to be a very effortless kind of look, um, a more subtle, elegant design. And I love Westman Atelier's uh, blush sticks and the foundation sticks are great. The drops are good. They're, they're meant for somebody who doesn't really want foundation. Um, the iPods, they have a lot of great products. And there's a kit and I'll put the picture up at Sephora. I did not mention it in my Sephora video because honestly, I was not thinking of buying it because the shades are the same that already exist and I have those products, but they are in a different formula. So like the blush, and I think it's Petal, that is in a cream stick is now in a powder, for example. So I might buy that. I think it's $160. I am a, I am a um, Rouge. I kept saying VIB in my video. Um, later I went back, I was like, not VIB, Rouge. What is wrong with me? Uh, but anyway, I am a Rouge member, so I do get 20% off. So I am probably going to buy that. I got to say, 
because it actually looks kind of cool. So that is out there. There are a bunch of holiday perfumes. Uh, I'll have a video on that coming up. And then of course, Suku. You're probably wondering why I'm not talking about it because I love Suku. In fact, my whole, I have a desk, uh, beauty desk, which I should take a picture of sometime and show you guys. But the top is glass. And so I have top three drawers you can see. The middle drawer is all Suku, literally all Suku. So I love Suku. But I don't have the winter and holiday collections yet because I get them from Harrods and uh, they come to Harrods later than they come to, to Selfridges and they haven't been shipped to me yet. So I don't have them, but I have seen them. I've, uh, my essay has swatched them and they look stunning and I'm very excited to have them. So what I would say about Suku is, guys, I promise you if you pick up a Suku palette or a blush, you're not going to be disappointed in the formula. You may not like the color story. That's a different, I mean, you know, everything is, we all have different tastes, but pick a color story you like. I'm telling you, the formulas are excellent. They are surprising. And even when you look at a eyeshadow palette and go, eh, it's not really mine, you put it on your eyes, you're like, wow, it actually looks really good. They're phenomenal. They have phenomenal quality control. I've never had a problem with packaging. I've never had a problem with formula. I've never had, I mean, yeah, they just do a tremendous job. And so I would highly recommend Suku uh, at picking up for the holidays. So that is it, guys. Hopefully that was helpful. I wanted to go through and, and do a follow-up video, but I realized all the follow-up products would be holiday anyway, so why not talk about the holiday collections? I'm really looking forward to hearing about what you're picking up, what you liked most, what you're buying as gifts, unless you don't want to say in the, the comments because people will see it and they'll know what they're getting. Uh, but yeah, I love this time of year. It's a favorite time of year. I love Halloween. I love Thanksgiving, love Christmas, uh, all the holidays this time of year. So uh, I, I'm just in a much better mood. Plus, if you haven't watched before, I've been having some issues with migraines and headaches and uh, they're starting to really get better, which just, you know, if you've ever dealt with like a health issue, it's just, you just don't realize <laughs> how nice it is just not to have a health issue. So anyway, uh, these, you know, I'm very excited about uh, this time of year and how everything is going. So I would love to hear from all of you. Like I said, I'd love to hear, you know, what you're picking up. And if there's something I missed, like I know Valentino and I, I, I haven't talked about those collections and there's something you really want me to try, let me know. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Hope to see you in another video really soon.